Hello and welcome everyone! Yeah, today we are going to take a look at all the room combinations in the game. Also the one from the DLC, the aquarium. And ah, finally it's day. So, I will show you what I built so far. So I just made like some basic rooms. So you also know right from the start what it should be. So here you can see kitchen, dining room, reception, like a hotel, a spa, a music hall, animal park or petting zoo, and like a castle, and the aquarium, not to forget. Yes, and now we are going to take a look. First, uh, I think many of you know it already, but we'll do this in the beginning. So you can see what you need for the dining room. The dining room can be either like poor quality or very fancy. Those are the fancy ones. So let's take them out. You want to have four block sets of tables with a chair and like a food decoration. Can be either a bowl or a simple supper set. Simple, simple, supper set. Or crockery. Also works. Ah, thank you. You're too kind. But now I need to work. Get out. Thank you. So, some bowls. So now we have one dining table, two dining tables, three and four. And now we need a light. <laughs> And there you have the dining room. Sometimes it takes some time to recognize the room. Yeah, 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 I know. Get out. Get out. Now. No, get out. Ah, come on, stay when you want. Who am I to boss a cat around? So, but you can also use some more fancier tables and chairs. Whoops. So, let's put the light up first. Now the tables. Yeah, 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 thank you. I already told the cat, I'm working. Ah, good girl, good girl. <laughs> oh my god. Let me work! Out of here. starving or what's the deal yeah and it works as you can see so now we will do the kitchen for that you need a chest always and now there are some variations to the simple kitchen so you can either have three bonfires or two bonfires but equipped with a frying pan Oh, I think you can also use uh, a combination of those two, like one bonfire and one, or two bonfires and one with a frying pan. And you can also do a kitchen with only the brick barbecue. We'll try those. Thank you. So first we need a chest and three bonfires. Ah, there it is. Wait. Why isn't it a room combination? Because the other one is fancier? Wait. So, we'll try it with the frying pans. Simple cute kitchen. Turns the dining room and the kitchen into one room. Yeah, it works, but it isn't visible on the map because maybe I got one over there. Wait, we'll see. Yeah, and as soon as I destroyed it, this will be the room combination. So I know you can have multiple ones, but I think they are too close together. So I think they need to be apart like 64 blocks or something like that. I haven't tried that yet. And now let's try it with a brick barbecue. And also, ah, I love this effect. Builds a restaurant. So now let's try it with one of those bonfires with a frying pan. 
and one normal one. Will it also work? Yeah, like this. So you can have one combination of a frying pan with a bonfire and two bonfires. But uh, as soon as you unlock the brick barbecue, I wouldn't take any other. Because there you can combine three foods together. Yeah, there we have our first room combination. The restaurant. On to the next one. So... Oh wait, I don't need that anymore. And we can destroy this also. So, here we have the hotel. For that we need a reception, of course. Which you can make out of those. Uh, there's also a variation. Um, you need like a wall decoration. You can either choose this or this. And I think some other ones also work. Just try it for yourself. And here are some variation for the hotel room, the, the bedroom, like a simple, a simple bedroom. Like a very poor one, like the one you would like to see when you paid for a hotel room and you get something like this. Yeah, we've all been there. And <laughs> there's a more fancier one. So, you put down two tables. I would recommend to use the connecting ones, looks a bit fancier then a stationary, then you need a table light, like this little candle, oh cute little candle, and then a wall decoration, which is this. Reception, yay! It's also the first time I built it. Ah, oh, perfect, ah, thank you, thank you. Wait, let's try it with the other one. change? No? That means it works! <laughs> so, but let's take the other one. I like it more. So, now we do the bedroom. And this is also something to consider. Um, the rooms for a room combination need to be adjacent. That doesn't mean they need to be connected. So they can be right next to each other without a door. That's why I built the hallway. To show it off. To explain it to you. Yeah. I, I was uh, thinking very much about this build. <laughs> so, you could have those really, really nice beds. And a torch. And there you get a hotel. Also a table target. A tablet. <laughs> also a tablet target. <laughs> I built too many tables. Optional. Build, build a hotel. Complete. Ah, the hairy hermit. Ho ho ho! Here's a mini medal! Thank you. You're too kind. Twelve more and I get the binoculars. Okay. We also need to fancy this one up. Yeah, wait, wait. Not finished. Like this. Ah, better. Stop leaving all your disgusting hearts everywhere. <laughs> when I want to do a screenshot or something, you know, they're always in the way. And there you can see. This is a sign for the hotel. Ah. So, on to the next one. Yep. Whoops. La 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 la. So, next one we'll build the aquarium. Or well, I think the Sea Life Resort or something like that. Uh, first, we need a souvenir shop. There you can choose from... Yeah, I don't know what to call it, like... Um, art pieces. You can either choose a marine monument, the merman model, or Helix the hero. This one you'll unlock when you take 10 different monster types to your island. Then it will unlock. This one you'll get from the Coral K island. 
and there will be a blue merman somewhere floating around or swimming around. Defeat him and he will drop this. And this one you'll get when you catch all the 40 types of fishes. I also got a video guide about that. So, let's build it. So, first we'll put down the monument. Let's put it over here. Then we need a table. A price tag. And then we can also maybe put it next to it. No, no. Okay. Let me put it here. And we got a souvenir shop. Yeah, pretty simple. So, let's try to... That's so epic! Absolutely amazing! <laughs> oh, I miss her a bit doing those voices. Uh, for those that are craving for more Let's Play videos... Oh yeah, thank you. Wait, didn't you bring me something? Ah, oh, there. Kelp. Oh, you're too generous. Oh, also this. Does it work? Yes. But we'll use the marine monument. I'm kind of proud of this one. So, now we got the first room. Uh, yeah, but the let's plays. Yeah, <laughs> I was talking about something. Um, I recorded two more parts for the let's play. It's like the end of the game. And I also did all the voices. Uh, was a bit too much for my voice in the end. Uh, but you'll see. And I think I'll put them out at some point. I think maybe in a week or in two weeks when I have time to edit it. But now let's go on with the tour with the room combinations. And now we are doing the aquarium room itself. So you will need at least four connecting windows, then a fancy signpost, a porthole, or viewing dome. So it's like either this or that. And for it to work, right, we close it off first. Uh, I think I need it from to do from this side or from this side. Well, I think it doesn't matter. And now we need some blocks to pour the water in. And there you got a set, a fish tank, which you'll need for this one. Yeah, this is a fish tank. Ah, the cat is already <laughs> eyeing the fish tank. Where are the fishes? But now you need to go away there. I need to put down the window. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> but we'll turn it around. Like this. So you'll need one window, a fish tank, and one signpost. But I think it won't work because the fish tank isn't considered part of the room. So when you do it like this, even though it's like part of the wall, I think it needs to be inside the room, like in this, like here. So we'll destroy those windows for now. Ah, everything is flooding! Oh. What the? <laughs> it works! It works! It totally works! Ah, the lots of different rooms! Oh, okay. I thought it was recognized as an aquarium. But what kind of room is it? Oh, oh, oh there's a mini metal! Yay! Yay! All those uh, exactly what kind of oh oh you can see what they like by check check checking the residence register try build build building rooms to their preferences build rooms your residents like ah oh my god so as you can see uh, obtaining mini medals is pretty easy just destroy something that you get two for no reason at all. <laughs> Ten more, and you'll get the binoculars. Ah, awesome. I've been waiting for that. Cat's room? What the? 
Ah, all the rooms I did already, okay. So when you unlock it, it will show you... Ah, so perfect size, perfect fanciness, perfect ambience. We will take a look at that. <laughs> I didn't plan that, I just wanted to make the room combinations. But why not? Why not? Mm -mm. This one is a bit annoying. You can't put it away for like half a minute. Like the room for improvement, each to their own, as the a, a, a adage a a a a goes. And your residents are no different. Try to build rooms that match their inhabitants' preferences for size, fanciness, and ambience. As you can see, when you open up the residence register, they will now have like a little bubble next to their person, and there you can see what they need. I will explain it. So, get out of there! I need to. No, go, go out! Ah! <sighs> yeah! Oh my god! I'm not finished! Okay, this is the aquarium. As you can see. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> uh, now we need uh, the... Oh, I hate it when that happens. So, you want to place the windows over here, that it works. Of course, it works also like this. I don't know why. Ah, because we got the windows outside there. Okay. But the water is on the wrong side. So, but you can also do it like this. And this will also work. So now this is considered that in the... I want to take a look. Okay. Uh, so now this is also considered part of the room, the fish tank, because it's inside the room. But uh, it's a bit annoying to get there because something is like in the way, an invisible force. It looks nice. Okay. So... Ah, wait, you want to see the portal? No. I think you believe me that it also works. Uh, otherwise I have to make a hole and all. No, no. We'll put it away. So, this one is also finished. Now let's get on with the castle. I mean, they explain it during the story. A uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> Just a little spoiler. Uh, now we will build a throne room first. We need a throne. Four bold banners, two braziers. So we'll just put the throne down. Braziers. Some gold banners. Let's put them up here. And some over here. Let's wait a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing happens. Why? Ah, maybe. Maybe the banners are too high. How can we fix that? Hmm. <laughs> I'm the perfect actor. <laughs> so when you have a door on this height of the room, like when you have some stairs leading up to a, a different platform inside the room, you need to have a door on the same level. This one you'll then just remove, wait a bit, wait for the room to get destroyed, and then you put it down again. Because now it is considered a throne room because uh, this level here is a room. And everything, I mean, if I would uh, put the braziers down here now, they wouldn't be recognized. As you can see with the animation. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Okay. Uh, as a room, everything in a three block height is considered. So everything on the floor level and everything like two blocks above it. So you have like the floor. Of course it needs to be closed off, but for display purposes we'll do it like this. So you have the wall over here and you have the floor. Everything on floor level also get recognized as a room. So uh, if you make 
like a gold floor, it also gets fancier. If you make really fancy walls, it also gets fancier. So you can use like gold blocks for everything. Not the ceiling, only the floor and the walls. And then it will also be much easier to get to the maximum of fanciness. And as you can see, I didn't know that either. I just figured it out. You can also put items in the floor and it will be considered as in <laughs> inside the room. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. So now we'll build the royal bed chamber where you need like a king size bed which is important. I think you can also use a princess bed but then it will be a different room. And But I don't know if it works for the room combination. You need to figure that out by yourself. Um, then you need a fancy chair a fancy light source, a fireplace, and a nameplate. It's important that you have fancy chairs and fancy light sources. A brazier is also considered like fancy. So a bed, a light source, a fireplace, a little chair, and a nameplate. And there you have a castle! Royal bedchamber, a throne room. Oh, I forgot to make the overhead view for the aquarium. So you can see all the icons so far. And now we go on with the tour to the spa resort. For that we'll need a music hall. And uh, what you call it? A steamy spa. So, for the music hall, you will need three instruments. Now I got also this comfy stool, which is part of a set with the grand piano. But this is also not considered for the room, because in the room you also need a chair. But uh, when you do it like with the set, you'll need two chairs. One for the piano and one for the room. Black piano. Ah, much better. So, we'll put it over here. I think this side is often what is used in uh, real music halls. So they can look inside. Don't ask me why. And the uh, lyre, lyre. Drum kit. Then we'll need a chair. You can, of course, use much more chairs. But for this room you only need one. And we'll need some curtains. Uh, let's see if it works over here. Ah, he's playing already. I didn't know he could play. Wait. Whoa. <laughs> and some curtains. And there you got the enormous music hall. So when one part of a two block high item is uh, in the spot of the room, it also is considered as part of the room. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Everyone's playing. Ooh. Ah, hello. And now we'll make the spa. For that, you will need hot water. So we'll just take it from my my magical water storage. If you haven't seen it, consider subscribing, so you know exactly how this one works. So let's see. Uh, sea water. Muddy water. And hot water. Yes! <laughs> I showed it off in one of my videos. So don't forget to subscribe to always know what, uh, what kind of magical things there are in Dragon Quest Builders 2. And because I had a few people who didn't know about it. That's why I'm talking this way. And now let's make uh, the spa. So we need what it's called a spa spout, a bathing stool, a wash tub, and floating flower petals. So we want the spa spout to be outside of the water but connected to it, like ne right next to it. The flower petals need to be inside the water, which is important. Now we 
will just fill it. And there you got a spa, which is also a set. But for a spa you only need flower petals and 10 blocks of hot water. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And now we also need some bathing stools and wash tubs. But this is important. I made the mistake one time. Uh, I put the bathing stools inside the water. And as you can see, they are kind of like considered part of it. I don't know, maybe or excluded. Oh no! Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, wait. I want to change my tool. Thank you. So we'll put them over here. So when you wash yourself with the wash tub, the water flows down into the drainage system. This is the way I always think about my creations. Always that it makes uh, logical sense. Yeah, I also consider making roofs ab above everything or ceilings. And uh, I thought about, wait, when you hold the button long enough, it will go into the top down view. Uh, I also considered making like a glass roof over the music hall, but then I was like, wait, they would never do this in real life because of the sound ambience. Because for the sound to be totally perfect, the roof needs to be, or the ceiling, needs to be a, like a wooden texture or stuff. That's why I would take like uh, those blocks I dyed white, those here, I would take those as a roof. They always look very nice. As a ceiling. Sorry if I mistake <laughs> roof and ceiling. So, and here we got the steamy spa music hall. Ben builds a spa resort. Ah, oh, also a tablet target. Complete. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Cracking job. Would you look at that? A mini medal. Yaha! Yaha! Nine more, and then you got the build binoculars. Perfect. So this one, this room combination is also a bit special because um, I got like this other wall texture, and I just left some space open. So like those five blocks over here, those are considered adjacent. Those five blocks are the reason why it's co uh, considered a combination. If I would close it off, it wouldn't be a room co combination anymore. Let's see. Hmm. <sighs> Even I'm learning stuff. <laughs> so let's destroy the room for now. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I wanted to show you how you can do it. <laughs> and I was wrong. Good to know. Yeah, even I'm all, all sometimes wrong. I want to say always, uh, sometimes. But now we can close it off, which is also good. I mean, you could also use like this little thing for a bar or something. But now we know you don't need it, we we'll close it off. Hmm. Maybe it looked better before. Ah. What do I care? <laughs> so, now we got the spa resort also done. Now we go to the last one. The farm and the petting zoo, which is... Uh, what? Wait, what is this? I know this one will be the playful park. A paddock. Uh, animal house and here's what you need for the animal house you just need a haystack a pet bedding and a pet bowl for the, the paddock you only need a haystack five pieces of wheat grass and for the playful park you need a bit more you need a bench two plank pathways then you need a set of the big or, or just a tree and a swing and four flowers So, we'll make the animal house first. And the pet bowl comes over, over here. 
Yeah. Small animals. That works. So we put it over here, and then five of those, which also grow over time. So if you want to farm those, you can just plant them somewhere, leave them there for like a few in-game weeks. <laughs> then it it should have grown in substantially. Like this whole room would be completely overgrown. And now the playful park. And also, those two together should now be considered a farm. But this one is like kind of hidden because it doesn't tell you. But if you still have the tablet target to build a farm, this is the way to do it. At least it worked for me. I hope it will also work for you. A small paddock. And I unlocked a grand piano because I got 15 different room recipes. And I built a farm. Perfect. <laughs> so, the playful park. We need a bench. Those two planks leading up to the bench, although it doesn't matter where. Then we need a nice tree with a swing. Put it down from here. That's the direction you're swinging. Yay! Oh, wait, wait, how do I do it? Come on! Yay! Yay! Whee! Oh. Ah, thank you. Ah, oh. oh, you're having fun here. So, and now you need four flowers. And there you got the playful park. And it becomes the petting zoo. And there you have a room combination. Ben builds a petting zoo! And now all the animals you have will come to this petting zoo. Ah! <sighs> and there you got all room combinations. Let's see. Ah, there they all are. There are six right now. I don't know if there will be some more DLCs coming out adding some more room combinations. But those are all for now. Let's make a screenshot. Ah, ah, Babs. Hmm. I need to put her in a bikini. Because I still have some some plans for her. Ah, uh, Sayak will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I want to recreate something. Because someone made a really nice fan art for me. Sayak is his name. Or her name. I don't know. I don't know if he's a boy or she's a girl. You need to tell me in the comments, Sayek. Tell me. And I need to show it off, but I want to recreate it. And uh, yeah, but that's it for the room combination video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you still have some questions, just ask in the comments. Uh, hopefully I will be able to answer them. Otherwise, I think your other ones will also be glad to help. And that's it. There you have the castle, the aquarium, the restaurant, the hotel, the spa resort, and the petting zoo, and the farm. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a like. I help you, you help me. Ah, win-win. So have a great day, a good morning, a good evening, or a great night. I don't know. I don't know what time you have right now. But I'll see you guys soon. Ah, oh, now now it's getting dark. Perfect timing. Ah. There's like the sunset. Oh, huh. everyone's coming to me. I don't know why. Okay, so <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Ah, you were standing in line. I thought you wanted to congratulate me. Not that you didn't do it like 50 times already. Ah, come on. I'm sorry. I didn't want to push you out. So we'll take a quick look at the residence register. So I'll explain what all the hearts mean right next to it. So, you can see, I think five is the most someone can have, or four, we'll see. Uh, five. So they can have one to five hearts next to what they fancy. Which means like the size, there are five types of sizes. Like very small, small, normal, big and very big, or enormous. 
So, a size with one heart means it's the smallest room there is. Like, very small, which means like uh, four floor blocks to 15 floor blocks. The next room size is 16 to 35. Then the next one is 36 to 63. Then the next one is 64 to 99. And then the biggest one is 100 to 150. 150 is the biggest room you can build. Fanciness just means how fancy the room is. Like when you just use wooden stuff, it's like the least fancy. When you use more stone stuff, it's uh, like the next level of fancy. And when you're using gold things or ruby or diamond stuff, then it gets to the maximum of fanciness. But it always depends on how many items you put in there. And ambience, I mean, you should know. You can craft items. And there at the bottom right, you can see ambience, natural, normal, cool. We also got something like a flamboyant. And when you want to have cheeky, you'll have this. And some other things as well. But uh, this is what you need to know for the ambience, the mood. You also need a bath? What the? The cleaning machines also need a bath? Good to know. You also? Hmm, I'm learning so many new things today. <laughs> 